Everyone knows that when the heart becomes anxious, it's necessary to seek God in prayer. The Bible advises us to cast all our anxiety upon the Lord, for He cares for us. But sometimes, we don't find the peace we were expecting, even after we've prayed. Why could that be? Is God not listening to us? Is prayer not working? I am certain that God always listens to us, and our prayers always work. However, sometimes, the issue lies within our own hearts. The Bible tells us that we do not know how to pray as we should, but thanks to God, we can learn to pray, and in doing so, find peace and rest in the presence of the Lord. The first step we must take is to confess to God the sin of anxiety. No matter the reason, all anxiety is a lack of faith in the care and faithfulness of the Lord. So, before asking God to attend to you, confess your sin. King David felt great peace when he was sincere and confessed his shortcomings. See what he said, Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me, my strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you and did not cover up my iniquity. Psalm 32 verses 1 and 5 Secondly, when we are anxious, our prayer becomes almost a complaint rather than a pouring out before God. Complaint is when we keep reminding the Lord of the problems we have. Pouring out is when we confess our dependency on Christ. Therefore, after recognizing your faults, tell the Lord how much you need Him. Not just to solve your problems, but to take care of you in every detail of your life. Lastly, thank and magnify the Lord. Magnifying means making something great. And when we magnify God, we make Him great in our own eyes. As He grows, our problems diminish. To magnify Him, pray like Mary, who said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked on the humble estate of his servant. Luke 1 46, 48 If you like this message, this video, share it with your friends and family. May God bless you.